തുറമുഖ ആണ് കപ്പൽ വരും പോകും കത്തി കുത്തും വെടിവെപ്പും ഉണ്ടാവും ആളുകൾ ചത്ത് വരും പക്ഷെ നമ്മളിവിടെ തന്നെ ഉണ്ടാവും തീരൂല ഹലോ എവ്രിവാൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് സൗന്ദര്യ ആദിമുത്തു ഫ്രം ദ ക്വിൻറ്റൺ യുവർ ലിസ്ണിംഗ് ടു ഡു ഐ ലൈക്ക് ഇറ്റ് a quint production where we review anything and everything under the sun and in this episode i'll tell you do i like nivin poli starer turumugam you know it's always tricky to make heavily opinionated films for mainstream audiences simply because you know the film has its own ideologies and it has to do it in the most authentic voice possible because for a fact you know that not everyone in the audience is going to agree with your point of view right so turumugam in that sense i must say is a very very bold attempt the film is centered around this tragic event that happened at kerala's mattanjeri harbor in 1953 you know where workers protested against the capitalists and kind of fell prey to their bullets you know there was so much of bloodshed and so much of emotions is attached to that event the film features some of the best actors in malayalam cinema right now right from nivin pauli nimisha sajayan Arjuna Shokan, Darshana Rajendran, Purnima Andrajit. I mean, the list goes on. I am missing out a few, but then the film has so many talented actors. That's the point. And that really kind of helps in ensuring that you know you have this footfall for people to come and watch this film and also there is this credibility to it, right? All of these actors are bankable actors and so the performances were just too good but before i talk in detail about the review of the film let me remind you go hit subscribe to the quins youtube channel and follow us on all podcast streaming platforms coming back this period drama is an adaptation of bk chidambaram's yesteryear play titled the same and is scripted by the son of the playwright gopan chidambaram the film speaks about you know a very very inhuman token system that was prevalent in the kochi port you know where people the bosses or the headmen they kind of threw this metal coins uh, you know at the laborers and as a way to you know kind of choose who gets to work that day and when you do this kind of a very inhuman act what happens is that the workers kind of fight amongst each other they end up you know doing this frantic battle to get work this kind of creates a scenario where the workers sometimes they forget that the main problem is with their bosses the film tries to answer a bunch of hard hitting questions why are the people who are slogging day in and day out being exploited i mean despite the hard work like why do their families sleep in hunger every night why aren't they able to feed their families you know why do these headmen or bosses pit the poor against each other dangling between one life of slavery and another of dignity the workers choose you know the life of dignity you know because they 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 want their self respect you know at one point they just realize they can't put up with this anymore but that comes with the price director rajiv ravi brilliantly documents the pain and the power of the working class this film turumukam you know i i felt it was more of a documentary film and less of a you know mainstream commercial film because through this film the makers delve deeply into the lives of the poor and the oppressed you know and they narrate this forgotten incidents and events that are easily erased from history and people's collective memory talking about what i really loved about the film of course the cinematography you know it was rustic it was realistic and it was just brilliant you know in the way that it captured this rawness of the workers life it was so close to reality Another important aspect about the film is that it was almost like a mini history class on the inception of you know the workers movement and labor unions it was clearly distinguishing what's capitalism what's communism and how you know the working class stood up for themselves all of this was like presented in a film format it was a homage to the real life struggle you know for labor rights however not everything was like picture perfect in turumukam i did feel you know though the dialogues were like so powerful the action sequences was just too good like so fiery and and there was this tense love triangle in the film that added more spice to the screenplay all of that was great but then it kind of falters you know in holding us to its core there were sequences that were lengthy and repetitive that kind of lets one disconnect from the film like every now and then however as i said before the actors have done a brilliant job you know they've done absolute justice to their roles with such conviction i mean it was just so natural to see them all perform it it wasn't like watching a film it was like i was in kerala one screen away from kerala that was a kind of feeling that they gave me specifically ashokan and purnima they were just shining like superstars
so after all this talk did i like thurumugam uh, of course i did like uh, i i had my own issues as i mentioned before it wasn't very engaging but then i really loved the film for what it stands for what it speaks you know it stood for the working class about their labor rights and and how important it is uh, you know to to treat fellow human beings as equal you know that was a very very important message and it still stands true like even today we have such discrimination so i think in that sense the film is very very relevant and it was very important so of course i liked thurumugam rebellious at its heart it is an earnest depiction of the phrase in club zindabad which means long live the revolution and yeah that brings us to the end of this episode of do i like it follow us on instagram at the quint and tell us what you want us to talk about next week and check out our website thequint.com for more ground breaking reports and videos this was soundarya adimuthu and you can follow me on instagram at uh, sounds good chennai until you listen to me next time bye bye do i like it is a quint original podcast hosted by soundarya adimuthu executive produced by shelly valya and ritu kapoor produced and edited by anjali palot Use this audio from Thurumugam. Theme music from BMG Production Music. You were listening to the Quinn's podcast. Mm-hmm.